check now on the lineups. Now, England have made those two changes, as you said. Glenn Hoddle starts the match in place of Neil Webb, and Trevor Stephen comes in for Chris Waddle, who's a substitute. I have to say that if David Watson had been fit, I think he would have played at centre-back. As it is, he's not, and Bobby Robson perseveres, so have made two changes. At the front, they brought in Marco Van Basten and left out young John Bosman. But the midfield change is an interesting one in that Erwin Koeman, number 13, the elder brother of Ronald Koeman, has been brought into that department. They've left out a winger, uh, John Van Schip, and that may have something to do, knowing the way Reiners the game started, playing from the right. Well played, Robson. Linick has made a darting run through, it came off Koeman! Lineker surely, hit the post! What a fine ball. Ronald Koeman made a disastrous mistake. The blonde defender, it came off his head, he beat his own keeper. And Lineker hit the outside of the post. There's Van Basten. And he goes down, play on. Good decision by the Italian referee. Gary Stevens went for the ball, I would have thought there as the ball was not long over the head of Mark Wright Van Basten crept even Hoddle's waiting, so is Lineker, so is Barnes Left. that was Hoddle Lineker's closing in here he got the other side of his marker who was Rijkaard one good thing about Gary Lineker Blue ball, pull it chance for Holland oh and Van Basten to be blocked by Adams, Muren well, there were appeals for a foul in the box, but Arnold Muren wasn't listening to those. Good header out. And driven back by Valters. But uh, Erwin Koeman, Van Basten, Valters. Well, everything we've seen about the Dutch so far, both in the first match and today, they're never afraid to have a shot at goal from some distance. Bobby Robson, who's refused to let events of the last few days dampen. Vinick is in the center, and Barnes takes them all on. Still Barnes forces the corner. That's the best run we've seen from him, perhaps, in this competition so far. Oh, he had to be aware of it, and saved it the second time from Van Basten. Rifled in by Ron now for Holland. They got in behind the England defense. Hullitz in the middle. Here comes Hullitz. And Kenny Sansom got back to make the challenge. Watch this as Hullitz comes in to try and finish it. Sansom got to him and forced him to shoot wide. Good challenge by the England left back. And a vital one too. They got in. This is twice as has happened. England have got in trouble on their right flank. And it's Hoddle. Oh, he's hit the post. So unlucky. And it was a scorcher from Glenn Hoddle. He oh, arriving now. That's Van Basten. It's Van Basten. It's a goal for Holland. Marco Van Basten. Two minutes before half time. And the Dutch delighted. Hullet did the damage on the left-hand side and whipped the ball in. Now then, Van Basten turning his man and as the challenge came in, the ball shot by Shilton. Tony Adams, I think, was the first defender who back... And what a psychological blow just before half-time. Run from the back out to the right wing. And Van Basten's through again, and he's round Shilton, and Gary Stevens off the line. Van Basten going for a devastating spell. Shilton came, Van Basten left us. And only Gary Stevens got it off the line. So a warning to England, the game not out of control, but weaknesses which have been known for some time. The field now, England have 45 minutes in which to resurrect their... Well, England there was stretched. Hoddle's cross. Oh, and Van Broeken and missed it. And it's just gone wide. 
Oh, now there's danger. This is Van Aala. Oh. England really giving the ball away there, Jimmy. Robson. Oh, he's got it back. It's Brian Robson. A great chance. Yeah! Yeah! He scored. The captain's done it. England are level. And Brian Robson shows the way. Beardsley played the first ball in. Robson played a 1-2. It was pushed back to him by Lineker. He carried on. And Van Brook, oh, that's a great finish, actually. He dived forward to make sure it went in. Brian Robson's 22nd goal for England. Robson's name announced over the booming loudspeaker system in the right. Hoddle. Kenny Sansom's coming in offside. Offside, and it wouldn't have mattered. Jimmy Hill shouting beside me. Lineker hit the bar, but actually, Jimmy, it was offside. On by Rijkaard. Pull it over the top. Now Van Basten, there was space there to line up the shot. And Peter Shilton had to turn it round. They didn't close Van Basten down too well there. Basten, good technique. Oh, pull it! Side netting. They were so quick to create the opening, the England defenders were thrown. Van Basten put it so sharp. Peter Shilton stand. Lee Valters with the miss hit shot. Pull it. Oh, Van Basten! 2 1 Holland! Marco Van Basten scores his second. England are behind for the second time. The Dutch supporters thrill again. Now, let's see as the ball comes in. There's Pull it. Play to the left, Van Basten with the left foot shot and drilled into the corner. Again, accurate finishing. In the and again, Haisley, it'll probably run out. And Van Aala. Corner. Well. Keeped. Championship. Only a matter of stoppage time, and there's not much of that. Holland have beaten England by three goals to one here in Dusseldorf. The man who scored the three goals, brought in by Rhinus Meekles today, Marco Van Basten, not on the pitch at the end, but on the pitch when it mattered to produce a fine personal performance, which in many, many ways is elusive presence in the penalty area the difference between the two teams England walk off disappointed 